Morning, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. And we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of welterweight action. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. He's coming to the ring with his entourage of cornermen. But they look calm, cool, and collected. Hard to believe that they're going to be firing off punches within moments. Lopez has had this experience so many times, and success has always come on the back end of these rings. Focus at this moment that delivers it. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Oh, Opening stanza of this 12 round fight. <laughs> Explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. <laughs> Halfway through round number one. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Trying to time that. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. The next generation's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Countdown, the final moments of this round. So as that round ends, it gives us pause to realize what has just taken place, and that is we have one man who just separated himself from the other. He was able to stun his opponent, and you got to think good things are coming. Well, they've been coming for a while because I really think that those punches are a benefit from a couple rounds ago. He's been hitting with a lot of punches, 
and I think it's starting to take its toll, and you saw it there. You need to throw more punches. That will keep him away. You gotta give me the double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. Lopez is fine. I'm looking at him starting this round right now, coming off a round where he was rocked, and I'm telling you, he looks perfectly good. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. Lopez's punch didn't come close. The next generation stunned by a big shot. Yeah, you got him. Let's go. Lopez is doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. Ninety seconds to go. Solid. What a hook to the body, and he is down and in bad shape. One, two, three, four, five. Lopez is back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Not able to land the headshot. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Comes right back with some offense of his own. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Oh, he's in bad shape here. He's stunned, and he's wobbly. The only thing he has going for him is he's not a fighter that uses his legs anyway, and you can't use him right now. He's a guy that likes to move his head. He's got to start doing that. Try to cement those feet down the best he can and get some head movement. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. End of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. Nice and relaxed. Good, good. This is what I need you to do. Keep shooting a jab to his chest. His hands will drop and follow with the power shot. Right, keep this guy off balance. Relax. A new round underway here. The next generation's hoping that he doesn't make a defensive flaw like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. See, that's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can see something that you didn't see, as hopefully the corner has told him what he did wrong. Able to dismiss that body shot. left hand that came raining in on him he does not look good right now expect him to clinch little head hunting with the left you 
you can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Gets rid of that body shot. Now this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. A good block. right back at him. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. sender with the left hand and clicks of the talk he just looks exhausted to me right now Lopez's accuracy is non-existent this guy cannot punch a solid target right now no, but what this shows he's missing so many shots we always think about the damage done when they land this is showing you the damage that's done when they miss you get discouraged you start giving in Trickling, keep trickling, don't stand in front of it. Your jab works good when you use it. You don't... Our first chance to take a look at Teddy's scorecard here as round number four is underway. He's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Not much action as he just ties up. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. Lopez is in a bad place. Big shot. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Lopez is able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Back to the body. Targeted counterpunch by Lopez. Thank 
Oh, and there you go. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Yeah. Falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's over. This fight is over. The next generation's unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. He's probably going to mark that down as one of the highlights of his career. From out of nowhere, one single knockout punch. Well, it's one of those punches that actually can be marked down. It's going to last in the annals of this sport. I mean, this matches up with any of the great knockouts ever in this sport. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.